My name is Leslie Johnson. I'm one of the uh, members of the group Chico Housing Action Team that got started here in Chico about six months ago. Hi, my name is Robert Troush and I uh, joined CHAT, uh, Chico Housing Action Team, last October. I joined because I was aware of the problem nationally and locally of homelessness. We've had a lot of pushback in our own community up to this point about this issue from the police and the, and the city fathers. Uh, I think because they don't understand the, the, the nature of the problem, the degree of the problem, and how to solve it. And our thing is how do we solve that problem? And we've discovered the tiny homes, uh, micro uh, homes, to uh, house people. So we decided to take this trip up north and to visit some of the other tiny house villages that are already in existence. Um, so Opportunity Village came about through a series of um, advocacy efforts on, that really grew out of our local Occupy movement. And they came to the city council uh, and at some point uh, proposed this idea of an Opportunity Village. I'm not aware of any spike in crime that can be associated with this particular facility. Um, in fact, I think because of how well it's managed, uh, we may be seeing uh, a slight decrease in the amount of crime. Because the people who are here have a vet vested interest in being here or they're, they're removed. I think that goes back to our like misconception of holding things to middle class standards, that we need all these things in order for each person to exist. But the reality of the situation is that we have 30 houses here and they're sharing two refrigerators, two toilets, one shower, one lot washer and dryer, and it's going pretty well. So, uh, you know, Opportunity Village, I think, is a very viable model for communities that have people on the ground who are really willing to put in the time. I have received zero complaints, either criminal or quality of life or impact from anyone working or living near those sites. And it has taken a, a long time for the city to come to grips with an idea that something like this could be successful. And, you know, again, even myself, I was initially a little skeptical because we've had some significant failures with some of the previous attempts. But what I think makes this so successful is that there are some rules and there are some expectations for people and there's some responsibility given to them and there, there are some teeth to those rules. If you can't abide by the rules, you have to go. What's needed is the financing uh, and the availability to resources not in our control as a group, meaning land, meaning zoning, meaning legal technicalities that need to be worked out and can be worked out because they've been worked out in other communities. As far as the community itself, once we start the community, I see it as a collaborative effort between the city, the fire department, the police department, the faith-based community, uh, uh, CHAT, and other service organizations in our community, all collaborating and working together to make it be successful. And Chico, is a very progressive community. We need to get on board and start making that happen in our own community, to have that collaborative effort and not have the people saying it can't work here. We're, not a, we're unique in some respects, but it's not a unique problem. It's a, it's a national problem, and we're finding national solutions for that, and those solutions are micro-housing, smaller homes that people can afford and feel safe in, and so we need to go to that model in our own community and take care of the people in our community who are disenfranchised, as I said earlier, for so many reasons, whether it's because of military, because of violence in the home, because of the loss of a job, because of addictions. Whatever this, the reason is, we should be addressing those and we have to address them as a community. One of the things we've thought about is what we would like to call the village, if we get a tiny house village going in Chico, and in line with the other names that we've heard about, like. Um, Dignity Village and Opportunity Village and Quixote Village, which is like Don Quixote. We like the idea of Simplicity Village because Chico has a real culture of uh, working towards sustainability and um, com community self-sufficiency and we thought Simplicity Village would be a really good name.